and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I am a makeup enthusiast with a splash of Project Pan. Um, today's video is uh, my intro to Throwing Shade Palette Edition. Um, if you don't know what that is, it was a Pantastic Ladies collab on Facebook. Um, I'm not sure that it's a current um, project painting game going on right now. I think it did end, but there really wasn't a beginning or an end date to it. I know that some of the ladies that were doing it, it was just an ongoing thing and it was just a good way to get use out of your eyeshadow palettes that you already own and to, you know, rediscover some old favorites, palettes that you might have forgot about, um, and just to keep a good rotation of what you already own. Um, without further ado, let's hop on into the video. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do was, um, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes, all 103 or however many I got. I have a lot of them though. <laughs> so when I seen this, I thought this would be the perfect way for me to, you know, rediscover some old favorites, some that got lost in the shuffle because Lord knows I got a lot of them. And, you know, just to ensure usage of the many eyeshadow palettes that I already own. So um, I entered all of them in on Wheel Decide. It's a Facebook um, app. You can go onto Facebook and go over to Wheel Decide. I will try to link it down below if you're interested in project painting of your own, whether it be this or anything for that matter. But it is, it's a good way to enter like all your makeup in and then it'll decide. You just spin the little wheel and it will randomly pick for you. Um, you can also go to random.org is a number number generator as well. I just wanted to hop on and pick my palettes and then how it works as far as using them. Pick four numbers or four eyeshadow palettes and whatever number that the first number that you pick you will use that eyeshadow palette for the first week of the month. The second number or the second palette that it picks, you will then use that um, palette for the second week of the month. And then the third number for the third week of the month you use. And then for the fourth week of the month, you will then mix all three of the palettes that were chosen for you for the fourth week of the month. You just mix them however you see fit. You just use all, use all three of them. And it just depends. If there's uh, five weeks in a month, um, then, you know, just do it accordingly. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to pick my palette. I did enter every last one of them into Wheel Decide, which is um, a little app on Facebook. And I am very excited to pick my palettes. So, as you can see, they are all listed in here. Um, I don't want to spin it yet, but as you can see, they're all in there, all a hundred and however many thousand I have at this point. I want to go ahead and I will spin the wheel. Let me give it a good spin. So my first palette picked was After Dark, and that is one of the smaller nine pan eyeshadow palettes uh, dupes for one of Huda Beauty's palettes. I think Bad Habit made these. So for my first week, I will use After Dark. Okay, let's do it again for my second week. Profusion Paradise Palette. Um, I'm glad that it picked that because that is one, this is a perfect example, that is one of the many palettes, many palettes that I own and uh, never actually even used yet. So. This is another good reason why I, I felt this was a good fit for me to kind of join and do throwing shade right now, you know, so it, it can give me a good reason to use up and just even use palettes that I haven't even used yet. So, okay, next, let's do the third week of the month, the last and final. Obsessed four. I know I have to do uh, all of the. Uh, these are the smaller eyeshadow uh, palettes. Obsessed four is another dupe for uh, one of Huda Beauties. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but without further ado, let me go get the palettes, and I will come back and show you guys. Okay, I'm back, 
and I got my palettes that I had to pick for the month um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys for the first week of the month I'm starting it now which is the 26th um, 6th of October is going to be my month long period and then I will do um, monthly updates to check in and let you guys know how it's going and then obviously when next month rolls around I'm gonna then select three more palettes but what I am going to do to make sure that I can use up you know at least a good chunk of my palettes I don't know how long I'm gonna actually do do this because 103 eyeshadow palettes is a lot of eyeshadow palettes but I would like to try to do it for quite some time so that I can use all of my eyeshadow palettes and sure that I'm using them um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to then subtract these three palettes out the ones that I have already used for a month prior so I don't redraw those palettes so for the first week I picked the After Dark palette, which is a dupe for Huda Beauty's, um, I want to say her orange coral palette or her smoky browns, I think. Um, so this is the company Bad Habit. Bad Habit went under, I want to say, and uh, I think Alter Ego took over, actually, or they rebranded something. Um, but this is the palette. Um, it is a really nice palette. I do like that that some of the palettes that I picked are a little smaller, so they're easier to use and just you know easier to deal with. So it is a really nice palette. I will definitely get good use out of that. Um, the only thing that is a bummer is there's only one shimmer shadow, but I'm working on some other project pans. I'm actually doing roulette pan collab right now um, with a couple other ladies um, and my one of my choices for that project the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette so I can use some shimmers out of here if I need to because a girl's got to have some metallics I'm sorry I do but I don't think there's no rules to it as far as if I needed to use another eyeshadow palette for some color or for some metallics then I will do that it's in another project so I don't see why I couldn't do that <laughs> so yes there is my after dark palette for the first week for the second week I had picked um, the paradise palette from profusion and sorry about my ring lights but as you can see, it is uh, brand spanking new. I ain't never even used it yet. I think I swatched it a couple times and that was it. Um, so yes, here is the Paradise palette. It is a really gorgeous palette though. It's just a shame I never even really got any use out of it yet. I have That just shows you the monstrosity of an eyeshadow palette collection that I actually have. You know, to where I'm to the point that I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I can't even get to them all. That is another reason why this girl right here is on a low buy. Um, I'm going to plan on filming a video about my low buy, and my journey on my low buy, how I've been doing, what my decisions were on choosing to do a, a low buy why I decided to do a low buy, what brought me to my low buy, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys are, would be interested in that. And then coming on um, the new year in uh, 2020, I'm going to then commit myself to see if I can do a full year long no buy. Not buying any makeup related items or beauty items, skincare and makeup. Those are my two, um, areas that I feel are bad for me I don't know I can't think of the term right now but those two categories are definitely at an excess with me so those are the two areas that I'm going to make sure that I do not buy and see how long I can go for it I know by next year and if I can make it for a full year um, because those are two of my problem areas that's the word problem areas makeup and skincare are huge problem areas for me I have every so much makeup into in an excess to where it's overwhelming each day which is another reason why I started painting 
and have since fallen in love with project panning. So, um, yes, yeah, so back to the palette. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I will also be more than happy to keep track of my journey um, and upload it to YouTube so that you guys can see how I've been doing on my journey on for, you know, my no buy and my low buy and stuff like that. Um, this palette is dirty. That's because this shade arrived when it came. It arrived broken. Um, but I will swatch a couple. Perfusion actually has a really good formula. You know, and they are super affordable. Um, so I'm really glad, like I said, that I was able to, that this palette was chosen. So it is a super, really, super gorgeous palette. Um, let me swatch a couple of the mattes and they feel like velvet. Oh my goodness. They feel so buttery soft. Um, so that one wasn't the greatest swatch, but then again, I just picked up a little bit <laughs> and it's right on my knuckles, but you know, for $10, what do you want, man? That's a good deal. And I think I'm going to have fun with this palette. So for my second week, okay. And for the third week I picked um obsessed four which is a brand from c color cosmetics and it is a dupe for huda beauty's electric uh, obsessions palette um it is an exact dupe and these are actually really affordable if you go over to c color cosmetics and look for these obsession palettes i want to say they're five dollars and they are really good formula i mean i really enjoy c color uh cosmetics formula so far so good they have not let me down um so this is for my third week it's obviously brights so um Thank God I am in the roulette pan collab because I can't just use, don't get me wrong, I will rock out some neon bright beautiful looks and have no shame in it. But there's just not a lot of transition shades in there as you can see. So to just use this alone would be a real struggle for me. So thank God I have my roulette pan collab and I can use some of these in here for some transition shades. But yeah, I mean, I'll have a lot of fun with it. I'll swatch a couple for you. And it is a really good formula. Let me see, I'm gonna have to go down below my banglets or whatever they're called. My bracelets, banglets. Look at that. Very nice formula. Wow. These swatch like a dream, you guys. Some of the mats. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun definitely playing with that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with all of these palettes. And what I what I am wearing today is a combo, a mixture between a Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. Um, very pretty palette. Very, very beautiful for fall. And it smells amazing. Um, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a mixture of the Gingerbread Palette today with the Jeffree Star Morphe Palette. This is in my Roulette Pan collab. So, and I gave my goal a use, to use this 15 times, but I thought, that was before I thought that it was a six month project. Here to find out it's a four month project. So since it's four month project, I'm dropping that down to just using it 12 uses. So today makes uh, 11 uses. I just used um, in the gingerbread palette I used warm and toasty on the inner part of my lid and then I used um, hot toddy on the middle portion and then ooh burn on the outer and I used a uh, gumdrop spices nice in my crease and then to blend all of those uh, darker transition colors out, I went in with Mr. Diva and 1985. And then my lashes that I'm wearing are, for, I will link them down below. They have hundreds of different kinds of uh, brands of eyelashes and stuff for 
amazing prices. I mean, they are steal of a deals. Starting at like 80 cents, and I think the most expensive pair they have are like $2.99. And they are really pretty eyelashes, as you can see. Look how pretty those are. I think I got these for 99 cents. So I will link them down below. Definitely go check out ilovelashes.com. That is my intro for Throwing Shade Palette Edition. Um, thank you again so much for coming over and watching my videos. Um, please like and subscribe if you are interested in following me on my YouTube journey and if you would be interested in seeing more content from me. I have lots more coming, so please stay tuned and thank you again for watching. Bye!